Hello doctors welcome back to Pirates of Medicine today we have a special video for you in which we will be explaining to you how to fill your OMR in your CROC exam so let's look at how your CROC exam question paper is going to be like so typically this is the first page of your CROC 1 medicine exam question paper you can see on the right that you have a column to fill in your student ID and your last name and also you have a column in which your variant will be written whatever variant it will be from 1 to 100 so typically you have about 100 variants in the question paper just, it just means that the questions will be jumbled in each variant they will have the same questions but they would be in different order correct now where will you find this student id that you need to mention here what happens is that in all the precedent years even the last year this is a typical omr yeah this is going to be a croc omr so let's see this is the column in which your id needs to be filled and what happens uh, like what has been happening in all the precedented years is that the dean office employees they fill already your omr information themselves they fill in your student id they fill in your last name they fill the other information the test uh, the code of the exam in the university code and everything and all you need to do is fill in your variant from your question paper what would be written here into your OMR and you need to write your name and surname over here typically sign it and maybe you have to write the date that's all you need to do correct so anyway I hope you understand fill in your student ID over here last name over here pick up your variant from your question paper and fill it in your in your OMR so you're going to fill your answers on the right side of the sheet you can clearly see they have various columns from 1 to 200 you have 150 questions in your croc correct you can use a black ballpoint pen to fill in your answers or you can use a pencil correct also you have to fill in the circle completely you already know completely fill the circle with a pen or the pencil so that your answer is marked and remember to correspond your answer with the question first question first line of the answer sheet in the omr portion correct make sure that the question and answer are coordinated mark your keywords in the question paper make sure that you understand the question and then make sure whatever the answer is we recommend that you fill in your answer first of all in your question paper and when you are 100 percent sure then go to the question paper the omr and then fill in your answer in the omr correct also if you have any doubt then we recommend leaving the question for example if you have any doubt from second to fifth question here leave the questions and go to the sixth one and once you are 100 percent sure go and mark it now the, another thing to note is that in case of you are you being unsure of a question what you can do is you can use a hit and trial method you can eliminate the most like ridiculous options and then you can obviously find the correct option and then mark it simple and make sure that you mark the answers very carefully you fill in your omr in time because you have three hours for croc even though you have 150 questions and what happens is that if you mark two answers in one question it is marked as incorrect you won't get any marks for this question so make sure you don't fill in two uh, circles in the same question yeah and that's all i think go and mark your answers mark in your answers carefully and fill in the circles carefully don't smudge the paper those all things you know uh, before we end this video i would like to help you with some tips and tricks again these are optional you may have a better method but just for your help's sake i would like to mention some trick so first of all mark one of the method is that if you're confident about your knowledge then you can mark all the answers in the question paper first and then go for the omr sheet because you have three hours and you only have around 150 questions so this is the met method which you can apply if you are very quick if you know the answers and you're confident about answering in the crop if you feel that you are slow and you are not sure about your knowledge you're not confident then we recommend that you can mark your answers side by side but carefully don't get jumbled up and confused while marking the answers and 
the second tip tri- uh, trip and trick and tip that i have for you is that answer all the questions that you know first of all and mark and leave the question that you are unsure of for the later part so that you can come back to the question and find the answer with the help of process of elimination so use the process of elimination to choose the best answer to the question that you don't know the correct answer of eliminate all the wrong answers and then finally find the best one now fill the omr carefully and calmly even a single error can create a chain of reaction of multiple errors if you leave a question for later and then when you go to the next question you are very much worried no worries what you can do is you can start the answer of the say you did the third question then you left fourth for like later part and then while answering the fifth question by mistake you marked it on the fourth column so it would cause cause a huge blunder so don't do that be calm while answering the omr yeah now there is no negative marking in croc but don't go crazy when you answer just answer calmly and use the best option use the process of elimination use calculated uh like calculated trick to answer your question don't go crazy don't go hey why and just mark every answer on basis of any a b c d e f g h something just uh, read the question carefully there is a high chance that you will find the answer by reading the question because croc questions are made that way correct keyword and all that even the croc ministry recommends that you underline the keywords in their uh, like videos about answering the omr sheet correct so anyway that's all the tips tip, uh, tips and tricks that i have for you and remember the most important trick most important tip not only for croc exam but or for all your exams that you are going to give in your medic medicine career you got this don't worry keep up the hard work and get good marks in croc